Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with the Code32 error with an Intel CPU driver. And it says that a driver for or service for this device has been disabled. An alternate driver may be providing this functionality, followed by a Code32. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the start menu, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best results should go back to registry editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select the yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest that you create a backup of it, so if anything were to go wrong, you can easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just select the file tab on the top left, select export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range should be selected to all, and then save it to a convenient location on your computer or external media or drive, wherever you want to save it. And then you just would select save, and if you ever needed to import back in, you just would select the file and then import option, and navigate to said file location. So again, pretty straightforward. And now ready to begin. So we're going to start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Same thing for current control set, double click on that. Should be a services folder, double click on that. And then finally, Intel PPM. If you just wanna left click on a random folder and start typing it, you can. But again, Intel PPM. There you go, okay. And you can search the list too for it, but you have to go down and you can see it up here, it's Intel PPM and you can Take a note of the file path up at the top of the screen here if you need to pause the video at this point to catch up. Each backslash is a different subfolder we've gone under to get to this point. And now you want to direct your attention over to the right panel where it says start and it's a reg D word value. Go ahead and double click on that. In the value data field, delete whatever number is typed in here and type the number one. Select OK. And once you've saved that, you can just close out of here restart your computer and then hopefully that error message should have been resolved if you attempt to update the driver or whatever you were doing prior in the device manager hopefully this issue should be resolved so restart your computer and that should be it and as always thank you for watching I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye